Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to Government House. My name is Hugh Borrowman. I have the honour to be Official Secretary to Her Excellency the Governor, and I'll be the Master of Ceremonies this morning. I'd now invite you, please, uh, if you can, to stand for the arrival of the official party and to remain standing for the playing of the Vice Regal Salute. The official party today comprises the Honourable Rob Lucas, representing the Premier of South Australia, the Honourable Kaim Ma, representing the Leader of the Opposition, Commander Alistair Cooper, Commanding Officer, Navy Headquarters, South Australia, Lieutenant Colonel Ilona Horan, representing the Australian Army Representative, South Australia, Group Captain Andrew Hoffman, representing the Senior Australian Defence Force Officer, Edinburgh, Assistant Commissioner Philip Newitt, APM. I also present Professor Brenda Wilson, AM, the Lieutenant Governor of South Australia, and Her Excellency, the Governor of South Australia, the Honourable Francis Adamson, AC, and Mr Rod Bunter. I acknowledge that we're meeting today on the traditional lands of the Ghana people and I pay my respects to the elders. Let me start with a very warm welcome. Rod and I are delighted to see you all here today, whether you're here for the first time, as I know some of you are, or whether you have been here before or indeed regulars over the course of your life. I just want to acknowledge a couple of people who are here today. Uh, speaking of regulars over the course of his life, indeed someone who lived here and was one of my distinguished predecessors, I'd just like to acknowledge a Rear Admiral, the Honourable Kevin Scarce, here in a private capacity today. Uh, it's also great to see for the first time this week, but here on many previous occasions, the Treasurer representing the Premier uh, and the Shadow Attorney General representing the Leader of the Opposition. Of course, we have the Service Chiefs and their representatives as well, and that indicates, I think, the importance of the occasion from the state's point of view, from the ADF's point of view, from everyone's point of view. I also just want to acknowledge there's a very special person sitting in the front section today, and that's young Noah, who is here in support of his dad. Uh, and I think it's fair to say that without Noah's support, his dad would not be receiving his PSM today. I just mentioned that so that when, you, when his dad comes forward, you know I would be particularly proud. Now, for the award recipients uh, sitting modestly at the back there, uh, let me just express the hope that you will feel as comfortable here today receiving your award uh, as you have done every day giving the service that we are honouring today. Of course, the, the Order of Australia our National Award Scheme, National Honour Scheme, recognises outstanding service and exceptional achievement. And each of you have given that in ways that you and the people you love most or who have supported you most during the time of your service here at the front know only too well. But to those of you here at the front, let me just say, there's one story that you know absolutely inside out. In the course of the ceremony, though, you will come to understand that there are a number of other stories, also very worthy uh, of our attention and our deeper understanding. And when you add them all up, I think you'll agree, uh, it's quite extraordinary service and quite extraordinary achievement. Extraordinary also uh, because Many recipients, most possibly all recipients, are very modest about their awards. Uh, some can't actually believe that this is happening to them. Uh, some sort of wonder why their names are on the list. A few I've heard this week, and this is true, you might find it difficult to understand, have actually deleted the emails informing them that they've received an award in the Order of Australia or seeking their permission to accept it thinking it can't possibly be true. And they've done that not only on their own account, but after consulting their spouses. So 
That's a nice thing about us too. Another really nice thing about these awards is they are only made on the nomination of an Australian. So someone, mostly unknown to you, will have spotted your service and your achievement. And to those sitting in the front, I just want to say to you, please, now that you know how it all works, please be on the lookout for other outstanding service by Australians here in South Australia, people worthy of recognition. And speaking of people worthy of recognition, I also want to acknowledge the presence today of the Lieutenant Governor, uh, here for the second time this week, but a great support to my predecessor and in the short time we're serving together, also to me. So with that, Official Secretary, let's get started, shall we? Your Excellency, the following appointments to Member of the Order of Australia in the General Division have been made. Dr Peter Nicholas Gilchrist is recognised for significant service to psychiatry, particularly people with weight disorders. Eating disorders such as anorexia are complex and challenging conditions, and many people suffering from them are affected for years or decades, and some even lose their lives. For 25 years, Dr Gilchrist has devoted his professional career to working with patients affected by these disorders. He works as a specialist psychiatrist in private practice and was clinical director of the Weight Disorder Unit at Flinders Medical Centre for many years from its establishment. In addition to his expertise, knowledge and extensive experience, Dr Gilchrist is known for bringing an outstanding level of empathy and compassion to his work with patients and helping them to understand the complexities of their condition. Dr Gilchrist has con contributed to a number of academic papers addressing multiple aspects of how eating disorders manifest and can be healed. He is a former committee member and examiner for the South Australian branch of the Royal Australian and New Zealand College of Psychiatrists. Dr. Peter Gilchrist. Mrs. Elizabeth Ann Scarce is recognised for significant service to the community of South Australia through a range of roles. From 2007 to 14, Mrs. Scarce was well known and highly respected in the community for her support to her husband, the then Governor, the Honourable Rear Admiral Kevin Scarce. She played a pivotal role in welcoming many thousands of South Australians to Government House and supporting the Governor to undertake his constitutional ceremonial and community duties. During this period, and in the years before and since, however, Mrs. Scarce has also maintained her own extremely busy schedule of volunteer work with a wide range of South Australian organisations. She has served a patron of Anglicare SA, the Children's Week Association of SA, and Ronald McDonald House Charities SA. As the wife of a naval officer and a former naval officer herself, she has brought great empathy and understanding to her role of patron of the Partners of Veterans Association of Australia, South Australia. She has also been a volunteer with Rest Haven since 2004 and is also a former board member of the Mary Potter Foundation. Mrs. Elizabeth Ann Scarce. <laughs> Your Excellency, the Public Service Medal has been awarded to the following recipients. Mr Scott Brenton Leckel is recognised for outstanding public service to
for local government emergency coordination and assistance in South Australia. Mr. Leckel has brought a high level of experience, knowledge, leadership and passion to his role as the Operations Manager, Local Government Functional Support Group with the Local Government Association of South Australia. He was heavily involved in the development of materials which led to the iResponder operating platform and training programs. This platform is now the cornerstone of local government's response during emergency situations and is used by 68 councils across South Australia. He has also delivered training to more than 5,000 participants and undertakes incident management roles. During the 2019-20 South Australian bushfires, he engaged directly with councils affected by fires and acted as a channel between the Government of South Australia and local councils. Further, during the initial COVID-19 response in the mid-2020, Mr Leckel led and structured a wide-ranging response that enabled all councils to share up-to-date information. Mr Scott Brenton Leckel. Mrs. Maxine Susan McSherry is recognised for outstanding public service to the community of Kangaroo Island and to education. During her time as Principal of Kangaroo Island Community Education, Mrs. McSherry's strong leadership skills ensured students, staff and families on the island were supported in managing the effects of the trauma arising from the 2019-20 devastating bushfires. She opened her home to individuals needing to evacuate properties as she modelled how a school supports a community while maintaining a focus on teaching and learning. As a member of the Kangaroo Island Bushfire Recovery Team, she ensured students were supported to commence the school year successfully through the provision of wellbeing services, the creation of additional childcare facilities, bus services and an additional youth worker. She spoke every few days at community forums to update families on the options available to them in the process of returning to school, managing media requirements, providing housing options and information on financial and well-being services. Mrs McSherry's supportive leadership positively affected all students and staff and contributed to the whole of Ireland response and recovery. Mrs Maxine Susan McSherry. Professor Nicola Jane Spurrier is recognised for outstanding public service to community health in South Australia. As South Australia's Chief Public Health Officer, Professor Spurrier has been instrumental in leading the state's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Along with the State Emergency Management Leadership Team, she has responded to the changing international, national and local situation and quickly established a reputation for honesty, transparency and directness that has engendered public trust. Professor Spurrier has met with countless community groups and councils to emphasise the importance of public health measures in response and has advised clinicians around the state to ensure they have the latest information and advice. Providing a strong presence for South Australia on the Australian Health Protection Principle Committee, she has been a consistent advocate for the use of public health science to fight the virus. Professor Spurrier's knowledge and actions have helped to significantly reduce the spread of the virus, saving many South Australian lives and reducing the burden on the state's health service. Professor Nicola Jane Spurrier.
Your Excellency, the Ambulance Service Medal has been awarded to the following recipient. Mr. Michael Klaus Bornson is recognised for distinguished service to the South Australian Ambulance Service. Mr. Bornson has worked with the Ambulance Service for over 30 years in both metropolitan and country regions. With outstanding leadership and commitment, he has been extensively involved in the development and implementation of volunteer recruitment programs and the development of clinical upgrades for paramedics. He continues to provide mentoring and training to staff and volunteers and significant, significantly contributed to the volunteer continuation development program. As clinical team leader on the West Coast, he implemented an extensive recruitment project, building considerable ambulance coverage for Aboriginal communities in Siduna, Yalata and Oak Valley. Mr. Bornson has been involved in a range of major fire incident responses, including the New South Wales bushfires, Kangaroo Island, Sampson Flat, Cudley Creek and Lobethal bushfires. Mr. Michael Klaus Bornson. <laughs> Your Excellency, the Australian Corrections Medal has been awarded to the following recipient. Mr. Mark Ronald Humphreys is recognised for distinguished service to the community within the Correctional Services of South Australia. Mr. Humphreys commenced his career as a correctional officer with the South Australian Department for Correctional Services in 1989 at Adelaide Women's Prison. Since then, he has undertaken a number of supervisory and management roles across the department. Mr. Humphreys has also undertaken the unique role of infrastructure project coordinator since 2016, leading a team of female prisoners to complete a major redevelopment of the prison. His genuine desire to help prisoners turn their lives around has contributed to the great success of this world leading project, which has received national and international award recognition. Mr. Humphreys is a well deserved recipient who has demonstrated an ongoing commitment to continuous improvement and service delivery. Mr. Mark Ronald Humphreys. Your Excellency, the Medal of the Order of Australia in the General Division has been awarded to the following recipients. Commander Chris Bastian, Australian Navy Cadets, is recognised for service to youth. Youth development has become a lifelong passion for Commander Bastian through his volunteer service as a senior officer with the Australian Army Cadets and the Australian Navy Cadets. Leading the design and growth of youth development programs, he has assisted young people to develop their confidence and leadership skills while upholding Navy and Army values and systems. He is also recognised for his contribution to emergency services for more than 30 years with the South Australian Country Fire Service and South Australia Police. His work here has focused on prevention, training, bushfire and emergency management, as well as law enforcement roles. Known for his focus and determination, Mr Bastian's enduring commitment has been recognised with several awards. These include a National Police Service Medal, Country Fire Service Medal, South Australia Police Service Medal and an Australian Day Award from the Adelaide Hills Council. Commander Christopher William Bastian.
Mrs. Margaret Bush is recognised for service to the community through animal clubs. When Mrs. Bush purchased her first pedigree dog, a Hungarian Bissler, a long-term volunteer commitment to dog clubs was born, which now spans more than 20 years. Clubs devoted to other breeds, such as the German short-haired pointer, Dalmatian, pug, as well as gun dogs, have also benefited from her personal endeavour, involvement and dedication, as has the SA Dressage Association and Woodville Pony Club. Always ready to contribute in a multitude of roles, she has been an avid fundraiser, whether that be selling bingo tickets, chocolates and raffle tickets, or organising catering for events and serving on club committees. She is also recognised for her roles as a former volunteer nurse's aide and lavender lady at Glenside Hospital, as well as a former canteen volunteer at a range of schools. Mrs Bush is the recipient of a Distinguished Service Award from Dogs SA and a Premier's Certificate for Outstanding Volunteer Service. Mrs Margaret Bush. Mr Kevin John Curran is recognised for service to Australian rules football. Mr Curran has been an outstanding contributor to football in South Australia for close to 60 years. Originally a player, he was encouraged by a colleague to become an umpire, his love of the game enduring through both roles. Secretary for the Great Southern Football League, Mr Curran has been involved with many different committees and councils aligned to the Sandville and the Great Southern Football League. Alongside an abundance of football merit and service awards, he is also recognised for his role in tennis through his decades of involvement with the Great Southern Tennis Association. His other community roles include hosting a weekly sports and football show on Happy FM and salary cap officer for the River Murray Football League. Mr Kevin John Curran. Mr Robert John Finn is recognised for service to the community of Goolwa. Mr Finn has devoted more than 20 years of service to his community, notably many projects of the Lions Club of Goolwa, where he has received high awards from Lions International. From 2002, he was chairman of the club's auction committee and would re regularly spend more than 40 hours a week on auction projects, including collecting furniture for sale. The Lions Recycle for Sight and Lions Christmas Cake programs have also benefited from his chairmanship. Mr Finn is also recognised for his contribution to a wide number of community organisations, including the Geranium Agricultural Bureau, Gulwa Local Action Committee, Pangarinda Botanic Garden, Jabuk Football Club and the then Parakee Society for Growing Australian Plants. Throughout the years, Mr Finn has been supported by his wife Valda in his endeavours. For this devoted partnership, they jointly received a Community Citizen of the Year Award in 2018. Mr Robert John Finn.
Mrs. Christine Joan Goodfellow is recognized for service to veterans and their families. Mrs. Goodfellow has devoted more than 11 years to the Partners of Veterans Organization. During this time, she has been, at various times, the Secretary, Welfare Officer, Membership Officer, National Board Member, Vice President, and President. Known for her drive and compassion for others, Mrs. Goodfellow has, promoted, has provided a caring ear and support for women looking after their veteran husbands, her own husband having served in the Vietnam War. She is also recognised for her service as a case and support worker with Baptist Care, an employment consultant with Anglicare, and a coordinator and bookkeeper at the YWCA Wyala Women's Shelter. In all that she does, Mrs Goodfellow lives up to the Partners of Veterans Association's mission of support, friendship, information and understanding. Mrs Christine Joan Goodfellow. <laughs> Mr. Brian Kenneth Hearn is recognised for service to the community of South Australia and to football. Mr. Hearn has selflessly volunteered countless hours to the community and to the development of his great love, football. Known for never doing anything by halves, Mr. Hearn has made his mark in many areas, including as Chairman of the McLaren Vales Hospital Board, Secretary of the Local Neighbourhood Watch, Lions Club District Governor, and President of the Residence Committee at the Key Invest McLaren Vale Lodge Retirement Village. Mr Hearn was inducted into the Hall of Honour by the Football Federation in South Australia in 2013 in recognition of 35 years of volunteering with local soccer. Along with his wife Kay, he has had a lengthy involvement in soccer administration in South Australia and has worked as Commissioner with the responsibility for all junior soccer in the state. Together, they are life members of the Parafield Gardens Soccer Club. Mr. Brian Kenneth Hearn. Excellency, that concludes the presentations for this morning. Well, I hope you all agree they are a wonderful group of award recipients, a wide range of awards in the Order of Australia. Uh, let's all join together to thank them individually, the ones we know and love, but collectively for the contribution that they've made to our country.